America and the rest of the world. Sandra J. Hobson here, stand-up comedian, entertainer, director, and producer of boxing documentaries. Internet troll to those who need internet trolling. This here is another episode of Hell for Lever News, brought to you by the Brilliant Artist Movement. I'm trying to go to platform, so please subscribe, like this video, share it, and by all means leave a comment in the comment section because I enjoy exchanging opinions and points of views with you all, as well as checking out the feedback from these videos that I make. If you are a detractor and it is your nature to detract, I encourage you to do so. Oh, wow! Wow! But just know, if you say something slick and greasy in my comment section, I'm going to shoot some fire back your way. I say, yo! Knock it the fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I am the troll's troll, and trolling me will not be tolerated. Folks, this is an update and amendment to my November 11th, 2021 video involving the death of Alpo Martinez. Uh, in that video that I done in November of 2021, uh, based on the information that I had, I said that Alpo Martinez was killed by a young man over a girl. Uh, from what I gathered yesterday while searching YouTube videos, I learned that this was not the case. Uh, apparently, Alpo Martinez, at an earlier date, had almost ran over a young man by the name of Shaquem Parker. And on Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween of 2021, October 31st, Shaquem Parker caught up with Alpo Martinez and killed him. Um, from what I gather, these are the correct and accurate reports, and for the sake of journalistic integrity, uh, I wanted to do an amendment to that November 11th, 2021 video. Uh, this is the amendment to that video. Uh, this is why I say alleged in any videos that I make until I get the facts. Uh, one thing that I did learn while watching those videos on Alpo yesterday, I was surprised to discover that Alpo Martinez was a big guy, big guy being six foot three inches. Uh, for the longest time, probably because uh, I only seen Alpo in videos and on TV. Uh, I was under the impression that Alpo was, was a short guy, uh, at least between 5'8 and maybe 6 foot. Um, again, I learned that Alpo Martinez was a big guy, 6 foot 3. So Alpo, he might have been a good, solid 250 pounds. He might have been bigger than that. Uh, I don't know. Um, but the guy who killed him, he was a little teeny guy. Uh, more than likely Shaquille Parker with a Napoleonic complex. Um, but again, uh, Alpo Martinez almost ran this young man over. And as a result of that, the young man retaliated against him. Um, you've seen my earlier videos, or video, the one dated November 11, 2021, where I talked about being either a lion, a fox, a herd animal, or a wise old owl. Um, I can't imagine what transpired between Alpo and this young man where he almost ran this young man over. I'm not even willing to speculate. But again, uh, being out in these streets is dangerous. And we're not just talking about it in the hood. We're talking about in life. Um, you have to exercise a certain level of common sense and respect for others. Treat people how you want to be treated. And uh, more than often, if you treat people how you want to be treated, you should be able to move through life uh, in a peaceful, harmonious manner. Although, of course, you're going to run into some storms from time to time. But again, if uh, you move through life with a positive attitude and you treat people how you want to be treated, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Now, there is a matter of people, places, and things, because you can be moving with uh, the greatest degree of discretion, but if you're around the wrong people in the wrong places, sometimes bad things can happen to you. So again, you have to know what lane you belong in, whether you are 
a lion, fox, or owl. But also, you exercise good discretion, good manners, courtesy, and respect. And you treat people how you want to be treated. And you hang out in the right places around the right people. More than likely, it is an absolute minimum that bad things will happen to you. Um, as I get ready to close this video out, I just wanted to point out another footnote. Um, I also learned yesterday that Wayne Perry was a little short guy. And again, just because I've never seen any of these guys in person and I've done the minimum amount of looking into them, I just heard their stories and checked them out and, you know, took notes. Um, I was surprised to discover that Wayne Perry was a little short guy. Um, I was always under the impression uh, up until yesterday that Alpo Martinez was a little short guy and Wayne Perry was a big tall guy. Um, in my mind, I wouldn't have been surprised to discover that Wayne Perry was the fella who was six foot three inches and that Alpo Martinez was the guy that was five foot nine. So again, that was just some added footnotes to the commentary that I did yesterday. So now that we cleared that up, uh, Xander J. Hobson from Health 11 News, this has been a update and a public service announcement for the sake of the journalistic integrity of the Brilliant Artist Movement and Health 11 News. So with that said, folks, I'm done with it. Bam. A little boy climbed an apple tree. He stole an apple man through and free. And when he started to climb back down, he slipped and he landed on the ground.